right, welcome back on the S63 build, uh, 0179. Uh, crank's been installed. We are going to head and start to install the pistons with the connecting rods. Um, so first thing we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to lubricate the piston rings on the pistons with some non-synthetic oil. Get that lubricated. Orientate the rings at the 120 degree position. Uh, should really match up to the 120 degrees that we've marked on here where these rings are going to be located and installed We're going to start with the number eight piston meaning that's the last one in the block here and then the One opposite and then vice versa continue on <coughs> uh, We're going to install the pistons just to the flush to the top and then we're going to rotate it down um, one cylinder at a time to be able to install the connecting rod bearings and check out all clearances. Uh, we'll do a plastic gauge check, check that all clearances. And then um, we're gonna be using the old bolts for that. We're not putting new bolts as yet. And we're gonna repeat the process here. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, we've got the plastic gate set into position across both rods. We're going to go ahead and install the cap and check our clearance. All right, got our uh, connecting rod clearance on number four and number eight. Uh, looks pretty damn good. I'm very, very happy with this. I think we're right around um, two thousands, uh, which is, I want it to be a little bit, uh, clearance to be a little bit higher on the higher end of the tolerance. So I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and clean this up, um, lubricate uh, assembly lube in here, and then reinstall the connecting rods with new bolts, and we'll repeat the process for the rest of them. Okay? Thanks, guys.